this is a manual pulse generator called also MPG and it's commonly used in CNC's to manually move the axis of the machine. It's a quite convenient thing to have and I think I will use it in my new CNC life project. I will try to hook it up with the UC CNC controller and the breakout board. This encoder has four terminals. It's got the phase A terminal, phase B terminal and the two power supply terminals, the negative power supply terminal and the positive power supply terminal. This wiring diagram shows all the connections I made here. Some of the connections were already made in the last video I made about the axis servo connections. And the marked field shows the connections which will be made in this video. Speaking of electricity, the MPG seems to be connected and now we have to work on our software to adjust the parameters so it works as we want. I am setting here the MPG A pin and the MPG B pin. Also the ports where are connected the inputs and below that there are three parameters which are related to the MPG. One of them is the MPG prescaler and according to the manual of the UCCNC it's a numeric value which sets the number of the encoder ticks uh, when the axis will move when the MPG hand wheel is rotated. Perfect. Regarding the MPG prescaler, the higher the value gets, uh, the less ticks are needed for a movement and it gets less accurate. And the lower the value gets, the more ticks for a movement and the more accurate it gets. The MPG filter constant is a value that describes the smoothness of the axis we are moving. 
the higher the value is, the smoother the movement should be, but the MPG will be less responsive. And in the opposite, the lower the value is, the movement gets less smooth, uh, more rectangular, I'd say, but the MPG gets more responsive. The value should be set the way that the MPG movement is smooth enough and the MPG is responsive enough. Now the MPG speed multiplier is a value that describes how fast the axis will travel for the MPG rotation. Higher values will be used for uh, big machines which have big travels on their axis, for example for the wood routers. And for more precise machines, the, the value should be set lower, so the MPG movement is more precise. So the lower value will mean a slower movement, uh, but it should be more precise. Honestly, I've planned to test the MPG just on one servo, but I have to admit that I just couldn't resist to hook up the second motor. By the way, I have now the possibility to show you uh, how to switch uh, between uh, moving this one and the second one. So when you have one MPG, you actually are able to control uh, all the axes you have attached to your machine. Uh, you just have to choose which axis you want to drive and the MPG uh, with the software will handle all the complicated things for you. By the way, if you like such content and you don't subscribe yet, feel free to do it. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.